So just initially, fantastic course, great part of the world. How excited are you to be here and end 2023 in style? It's the perfect place to end 2023. Uh, has been uh, has been a great year for me, and uh, to finish it off with uh, with Mauritius with a place like this, it's just awesome. And We're congratulations lucky. for regaining your tour card. Can you just give me a quick insight into what the battle's been like over the last few years to get back to this point? Battle was was tough at times, uh, but you know was uh, was a journey and. Uh, it was a long process that I had to kind of rebuild and redo a lot of things. But then, you know, I had I had good people around me, and uh, there were tough times, but there were also really good times. You know, uh, working in the right direction, it's uh, it's pleasing when when you when you feel that you're working in the right direction. So it wasn't always uh, it wasn't always that tough, but it, at times it was difficult. That's for sure when the results don't come and. You're, you're stressed on the golf course and nothing comes your way and you're not feeling great, it's not easy. But I guess I, I always, uh, in the last uh, three, four years, stepped out of the golf course and and had a plan um, to to move forward. So that definitely kept me going. Was there any point over the last few years which you considered maybe giving the game up or taking a different route? Mm, no, in the last few years, no, I didn't. I, I had a time in which... Uh, uh, I, I had to take a break, but I never, not even in that time, I, I, I thought I was going to stop golf uh, for sure. I uh, I just thought I needed a break and that's it, but I, I knew I was coming back. 2023, you've had two wins on the Challenge Tour. Was that the, the final finishing touches on finally getting back here? Mm, yeah, I mean, results ultimately, ultimately are the ones that give you the, the confidence that uh, it's like the cherry on a pie, you know. You, you need results, you need you need wins, and you need something that uh, makes you firmly believe that what you what you've done it's it's good and it's going the right direction. So, yeah, uh, those two wins, Copenhagen and Rome, they were uh, the I guess one of the last things I needed to to feel that the com the, the coming back was was going was working fine, and 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 then you know season ended and. Now we're here into 2024 with with new goals and this thing not, not, never stops. You know, there's always something uh, ahead of us. So I, I I happily talk about the past, but I'm I'm focused on what's happening in the future. For sure. In 2024, what are you are you a goal setter? What have you got in mind that you'd like to achieve? Mm, uh, I I take it step by step, uh, really. So I would say 2024 is about um, staying on tour, having a good year. Um, and and that's that's the goal. Then I need to measure how how far I can go and and what I can do. But you know, at the moment I don't set goals too high. I I want to keep improving. That's for sure. I want to feel good on the golf course in uh, in in more and more difficult circumstances, uh, which is definitely one of my biggest goals. And then see what results will come.